the next salt is calcium chloride so this salt is uh, anhydrous which means it doesn't contain any moisture water as uh, water of hydration it's pure salt of CaCl2 it's also used as a desiccant which is a drying agent and that's why they say that you can use it for that so it's like coarse uh, crystals like that so I'm going to be weighing that so we're going to weigh uh, 7.99 grams of this salt so let's see how much uh, we can end up weighing so let's pay attention to the scale so these are coarse crystals so I may not be able to oops. Tiny bit more. Okay, this is good. Let's record that. So the mass is 8.038 grams. So we're going to transfer this mass and uh, let's go ahead and measure our water mass as well. So I want this to be again close to 100. We'll see how close we get. Okay, very close. Like last time, 100.00. I think I'm getting lucky every time to land it right at 100. So now I'm going to transfer this to my beaker. I'm going to make my solution here now. So then I have the two masses. So it doesn't matter. There's not much left over here. So we can just let everything dissolve. And we'll mix. I want to transfer again 8 milliliters of the solution so I'm going to go ahead and use my graduate cylinder but I'm going to condition it because there's water droplets inside of it so I don't want it to be diluted so I don't need the whole solution so I'm just going to dump this one portion. All these solutions are safe for drain disposal. This calcium chloride, calcium ion is an essential ion for us to eat, for animals. So sodium chloride is also relatively safe for drain disposal. It's like table salt. This is this is a lot easier to dry. So I'm just gonna stick some paper towel inside and dry this and we are doing this so that uh, we don't change the concentration of the solution because I've already made my solution if you have any water here you will dilute this and we don't want that so there is my 8 milliliter transferred and our magnetic stirrer inside and we're going to mount this the same way as before All right, and the stair should work. Perfect. My bath temperature is roughly about 10 degrees, so I can work with that. And I want it probably colder, especially if I see the same nucleation effect, the seeding effect, or lack of seeding, I should say, that we saw with the other one. All right, so let's lower down our it's like I spilled some water in here so 
Alright, so it looks pretty good. And my second probe goes in. Alright, probe is good. Magnetic stir is going. I'm roughly turning like around 500, 400, 500 uh, revolutions per minute. Should be good enough. And it's cooling down as you can see and as I'm blocking you. So let's go ahead and get this away from you. And I'm going to collect this time I remembered. So let's go ahead and collect our temperature and see what we have. My back is not doing well. Let's see if tapping causes anything. Kind of spree, increase the speed of the rotation to help it freeze. And whatever it takes, let's see if salt will do it. The solution is really fighting back. I'm spilling my ice. Okay, I think I'm going to have to get this thing even colder, so I'm going to raise my setup, get rid of some of the water. And now put more salt. All right, I think it froze. There it is. Something happened. You can see it actually right here. Or I think you can see it right in between the probe and the, the stand right there. So it is frozen. It's clearly frozen right here. Without doing anything, I'll keep my ice bar bad for the next run. All right, now we are definitely in the melting zone. Okay, freezing has taken place, so I'm going to uh, remove this. It's cold enough that it will continue to be frozen. So you can see that the temperature is pretty low. The stair bar has stopped negative 4.2 like last time so this is what happened last time it came up and it started to become constant temperature and uh, still hasn't melted yet I'll try to remove the it's trying to move but has a hard time but let's see all right, so it's dropping a tiny bit down. That 
that's good still melting so the temperature is rising okay so I'm getting this as a way of mixing so let's go ahead and start to cool it down again okay it just froze I saw it so temperature is rising There it is. We had, a, we had a long and low dip because of the seeding effect and now it's starting to do the same thing so it's again doing this shoulder coming back and stabilizing around negative 4.1 and the stirrer is still well actually I can move it which is good That's good, I can move it. So it looks like it wants to do this dip here, this peak there. So it looks like what happened here is a copy of what happened in try one. That's it for now.